exception. Uh, we will immediately go in for the necessary things in terms of uh, infrastructure. We are still on with the 2023 appropriation, which has been extended. The national budget was extended to uh, June this year, and our two statutory budget was extended to June this year. But this 2024 budget, which has been extended, uh, will have to start the implementation. Basically, the budget has to do with capital and recurrent. We tried as much as we could to make sure that the, the, the capital expenditure is far much higher than the current expenditure. I would say almost 70% uh, of the capital expenditure. And of that, we have to make sure that 58% of that goes for ongoing projects. We don't need to abandon uh, projects that have been awarded before we came. And then we have to take 42% for new uh, projects. So, uh, frankly speaking, it is going to revolutionize infrastructure as far as the FCT is uh, concerned. Not only road networks, also in health, in education is very key. If you just watched uh, some few weeks ago, we flagged up the renovation of over 19 schools. Uh, that has to do with the 2023 budget. But for this 2024 budget, we are going to have not less than 21 schools again that will have to bring to the standard that you can say, yes, this additional is a school. Uh, yes, additional 21. Uh, that this is a standard. At least you can say, okay, uh, this school meets all the standards that it requires in terms of uh, facilities, you know. And then you look at the health sector. Most of the general hospitals are neither here nor there. So we're taking uh, the Otako General Hospital, the Wawada General Hospital, and the Guarimpa General Hospital to bring it to the standard that it requires. So uh, I believe, for the grace of God, that the, the budget will be very impactful uh, to the residents of uh, Abuja. For those schools, What's the big plan? I mean, beyond the renovation of those schools, what about the teachers? Is there any plan for them? Of course, uh, of course. You talk about the training and retraining, and we're just talking about capital expenditure. Okay. Of training and retraining has to do with current uh, expenditure. That is not under capital uh, expenditure. Uh, of course, we have a provision for training and retraining of our teachers to bring them to the, to the standards. And of course, uh, even if a teacher is employed for the past, you require to train them and uh, retrain them so that it will be up to the level that is uh, required for them to impact meaningfully on uh, their children. So that is the idea. I didn't talk about the current, but that provision for trainees and retraining. We still with the capital and the schools, capital expenditure and the schools. Uh, how do we, did you get to, you know, in terms of the um, identifying the schools, the 21 schools. Is it about spread? Are you thinking of the area councils as well? In of terms course, of how, of how course. chose the schools of course. that are benefiting from Of this? course. Take for example, when we went to the gifted school, it's not in the city here. Yeah. It's in, the, I think, uh, Guagulada. It's in Guagulada. So what we did was to tell the education secretary to go to the, all the area councils, identify schools that are in deplorable condition. It is not possible to talk all at the same time. It is not possible. It has to be taken step, to this one today, this one, this period, you know. Um, so it's a like spread, you know, to make sure it covers the entire six area councils, yes. How do you intend to finance over one trillion naira? Now, let, let me tell you, our idea has to do um, basically with our idea. Now, that one trillion has to do because we are taking loan from the bank. And that's one of the advantages of pulling up from uh, the TSA. Now, if by the grace of God you say that we are having um, 20 or 25 billion every month, for example, uh, of our IGL. Now, if we rely on that, then it is at the end of the month, you take this 20 or 25 billion to share to contractors for this department, for that. We may not make any meaningful 
progress. Now, what we have done is just okay. Can we have a loan from the banks for almost half a trillion? And it will be spread how many years? Five years. Now, we pay to the bank, say every month, you take like 10 billion now. So at the end of the year, the bank is collecting about 120 billion, right? Now you have this 500 billion with you. So what you do is okay, project A, this is how much we're going to spend. Project B, this is how much we're going to spend. Project C, this is how much we're going to spend. Now, you now know within this year or next two years, this project would have started and would have completed. And there will not be issue of you not paying the contractors or issue of variation coming. Because the funds are there now. And the contractors are happy because these funds have been tied to various specific uh, uh, projects. Now, spending 10 billion or taking 10 billion does not mean that that's the entire money. We still have money left. So use that to play around for certain. Uh, but so it is going to create a situation where people will wonder what is going on. This strategy is what I have used when I was governor, and it has paid off. So it's not a question of you waiting for every month, you know, uh, this is what has come. Then you begin to split, you know, one billion naira to this, 500 uh, million naira to that. At the end of the day, you've not achieved anything. Hmm. But with the fund with you now, you'll be able to say, can I finish Otaku Hospital in two years' time? Yes. Why? The fund is there, available. Can I finish this road in one year or two years' time? Yes, because the fund is there, available. And not all contractors like to hear that the funds are available. And you can actually, you, before you know it, you have turned around the entire place. And that's what is going on today in Abuja. I'm now talking about uh, figures here yeah. alone. Implementation at the end of the day. That's what I'm saying. I have told you here. It's very easy. It's very easy. I mean, yeah. I have told you, take for example, we have this fund. We have, we have, we have applied projects in the budget. What are the projects you want to back up on? So simple. When you are passed through the procurement process, I'll say road A, for example. And road A is going to cost us 40 billion dollars. And what is the time within which this road A must, it must get done? 16 months, two years, for example. It's okay. Put down some amount of money for road A. The contractor is aware that this fund is there. And we make sure that the jobs are done. So when is the implementation? <laughs> it's very simple. Do you need to hire anybody to come and see whether the jobs are done or not? Take for example, on Saturday I was at the site, right? To go and see certain projects. Have they paid you the money? And I'm coming to check whether the job is going on. And of course. All the contractors on that Saturday said, I asked, do you have problem funding? He said, no. Hmm. They have no problem funding. And so the work is moving. So even, even when, when we are supposed to pay, they look, we have no problems. We know you, you will pay. Let's go on doing the job. That, that confidence has been built. That confidence has been created, which is what is lacking. Because when contractors don't have confidence, with that client is a problem. We don't know whether this client will pay. Do we go ahead and do this job? At the end of the day, we may have taken loan from the from the bank, and now we're hearing different uh, stories. So that confidence has been built, and which is key. Well, well if, yeah. we, if we stay with you know the ongoing projects before we go to you know the new budget and some of the plans you have, the ongoing projects and your interactions with the contractors, you know, uh, handling those projects, are they on schedule? Very much on schedule. Very much on schedule. In fact, um, after the shutdown, we had meeting by 12 or 2 of all the contractors handling projects that will be commissioned in May. 
okay. in May this year. So, listen, we are sitting down now. To what extent have you gone? Are you still recommitting yourself that, look, everything will be done uh, 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 in May? Yes. No. Why no? What's the problem? Why no? Uh, when we were in uh, Osex, if you have that interchange at the Asokoro Junction, the, the CGC pleaded that talking to the public for them to uh, make some temporary sacrifice because of the diversion of traffic. I said, look, what do people want? Is that whether you divert traffic for one month or not? Is it material to them? But at the end of the day, will the job be done? Yeah. As I'm coming out of office, I can see that the diversion that they've started and go and see the amount of work. And they have promised that it will be handed over in May. Right? Now, the funding is not the problem. So, they don't have any problem. But why we're meeting with them today is to see, to, be, to reassure us. Because we have already given Mr. President the assurance that we will be ready for this and this and this and that. So all we are trying to make sure that everything is done. Yes, Company A, are you sure? Company B, are you sure? Uh, on Saturday, we were with the B6 B12, which has been handled by Jules uh, Beggar. They said, look, we are ready. But I, but I ask questions. I can say you are ready? Because I said, look, we have already programmed our job. So you don't need to be worried. If we are we're not going to be ready, we will not. Okay. So since you're doing things differently, just this one. Are you also publishing these amounts, how much projects cost, so that people can see it, all those it, things it, online somewhere? That is, that is, that's very, you know, I came and made the projects. Yeah. Before the commissioning, we'll be able to say when this project was awarded. The kind of history of each project. Yes, mm -hmm. yeah, we have to give history. This project was awarded so so period. This was the initial cost. This was the variation. This was what we met. I see where we, we are. I have not on our own since I came. Most of you projects, that will be. The only one I can say um, is the VP's uh, residence, which was awarded in 2010 at the cost of 7 billion naira. 2010, we're in 2024. 14 years ago, Vice President's residence, that ought to be his official residence. Of course, George Beggar said, look, we can't continue with such a rate. But Nigerians are finding it difficult to even understand that the FCT is committed to building an official residence for the Vice President. They don't know that the Vice President since 1999 has no official residence. Perhaps, well, it's not that perhaps that we might need I, to I, explain. I, that they know it's only mischief makers. You know, people just say all kind of things. I am one presidential uh, candidate who don't even ask questions. He start talking. How can they award contract to bid? The contract was not awarded by this administration. Because it was awarded 2010. And because of lack of payment, the contractors, Jerus Beggar, pulled out of sight. And are you saying that we should not abandon it after we have spent some amount of uh, money. We said, no. Look, let's go back to the project, complete it. Mm. And the contractor said, look, we can continue with this cost. And of course, everybody knows. And came up, and Frank said, okay, we are willing to complete this project. And so the time thing, I said, are you sure if we pay you, you'll be able to complete this project at so, 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 so time? It's one of the projects I felt that Mr. President should be able to commission. And Joseph Becker said, if he pay us the money, who can assure you who will deliver? And the location of the project was it such that you could turn a blind eye to it and say, we'll continue to leave this ugly thing? First of all, when, when you have conceived the project and federal government approves that project, why would it not, because of location, you can abandon it? So what I mean is whether it was a, a place sensitive enough not to have that kind of project abandoned. It is not for you to have identified that area, that this is suitable for a vice president to have his uh, 
official residence. You see, within the villa's access. That's important. Yes, it's, it's very important. As an just, 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 in fact, for me, whether it's a vice president or not, the mayor fact is a, is a public uh, 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 project. Why do you need to abandon it? Why do you need to abandon it? In fact, there is one we were building for the leadership of the National Assembly, also by Julius Beggar. Leadership of the National Assembly, also by Julius Beggar. Abandoned. And, and when I look at the cost, I say, look, we can't take all this, all this together. How much was the cost? I, I may not be able to remember, but I, I, I looked at it that we may not be able to carry the two at the same time. Look at the federal secretary. He said, I want to tell Julius Beggar, long ago, the first phase, as I came now, I said, look, you must have to complete this. Is that I saw, by the grace of God, this project will be handed over in May this year. They were talking about the second phase. I said, look, let's complete the first uh, phase before we now talk about uh, re-awarding the second uh, phase. I know some, some people might be interested in knowing in concrete terms. Now, uh, you've mentioned the Secretariat you're handing over in May. Now, this Vice President's residence and Metro Line, are they coming on stream as well? Yes, I can, I can speak to you authoritatively now that by the grace of God, we can save 95% mm -hmm. of the Metro Line. Okay. Let us give us a rundown of the pro projects that are slated for commission. In the How? I, I, okay, let me see what I can remember. So many of them, because there are so many. Oh, there are so many. Okay. Um, we have the Satan Parkway, which is being done by Setraco. We have uh, B6, B12, which is being done by Jonas Beggar. We have the uh, VP then, which is being done by Jonas Beggar. Maybe it would be better if you explain where they are, are the significance uh, uh, of... No, no, no. If, if, well, why would I tell you the significance of road? Uh, I live in Abuja. I don't know where... I don't no, know no, where no. I mean, where generally, I want to say Satan Parkway, which is when you are taking from the uh, Christian Center, you know. I myself, even from the midst of uh, our city, I cannot say that I can um, identify what is region, what is called, but I know that social project is being handled by social company. So I've identified the certain parkway which is being done by Central. I've identified uh, <coughs> the uh, Wuye interchange, okay. Wuye, which, no, is being, no, no, no. which is being done by Arab contractors. I've identified the OSEX, uh, which is being done by the SCGC. I've identified the, the Northern Pathway N20, which is being done by uh, Gilmore. I've identified the Guzape, which is also being carried out by Gilmore. I've identified the uh, transition, which is being completed now by Salidi. Salidi, what they are doing now is the road uh, uh, marking. I've identified the a metro line. I also identified all the access road to the uh, stations. We have about five, six access roads from communities to these uh, stations. Mm -hmm. all, all will be ready. Talking about okay. the metro line briefly, the, the trains themselves, uh, the commuter trains, the train head and all, they're when all are they arrive? No, they're all there. If you, if you, if, How many? If we, I think we have about 12 or 20, something like that. But if you ask me, if I was, uh, um, if I was involved when the conception, I wouldn't have liked the configuration, the way the train, you know. I, for me, it's not befitting. It's not befitting, but, hmm. excuse me, that only you can uh, do at this, uh, uh, at this old locomotive. No, not, no, 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 that. I'm talking about the, 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 the city arrangement. Okay. You know, for me. That is where it starts from and stops from, or what? I'm not talking about the city. It's all city arrangement within the country. For me, yeah. it's not, it's not uh, a city. But what is important that uh, we're able to complete it, we're able to put it to, uh, to be functional, and then at the end of the day, the public will, uh, mm. will use it. The train can stops can and the feeder roads? Every, yes, everything. Yeah. Everything has been done. If you don't mind to talk a little bit more about one of the issues you highlighted previously, which is the health sector. We've been to some of these hospitals and there are several people who are there who can't afford 
out-of-pocket payments, which is what subsists in a lot of areas. Health insurance, not exactly cutting it for a lot of people. There are shortage of bed spaces in FCT. You said you want to build some of these hospitals. Could you be a little more specific? Which areas do you plan to build? Is in there a, any completion time? In a, in a, is, is it going to be affordable no, or something? No, you see, it, 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 it's the problem we, we, we always face. How do you build a hospital without the required facilities? When you say uh, shortage of best space, every hospital has its own number of best space as, as prescribed. So for example, I want to build 100 uh, number of best space. Do, do you understand me? So you will say the number of beds is uh, uh, short. That is what, from, from, from the conception, what has been planned to do. So you cannot say, because there are so many people coming, therefore the bed should be increased. No. No, it's not done that way. No, we're not asking that they be increased. No, it's no, to provide no, it's more no. facility What's, for those people. We are saying that, look, if you go to Guarimpa, General Hospital, it is not a standard, what you call a hospital. That's what I'm trying to say. Which means you are bringing in facilities that will make it to be a standard uh, hospital. That, that's the point we're trying to, to make. When you say affordable, you know, we always want to live a life where things it's like uh, free for everything. We're not in a socialist uh, 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 regime. We're not. Things are very expensive, I agree. But government hospitals are not as expensive as private uh, hospitals. And when you to run a hospital, it's not an easy thing. It's not a joke. So government trusts as much as they could to, you know, to uh, subsidize. The, 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 the amount to be paid. So what but, but, but we, yeah. we always, I'm not the management of the hospital. I cannot sit here to tell you this is what is going to happen because I'm not a professional in that. Uh, yeah, but, but does the FCC have a, what's the plan that the FCC has for health sector, for instance? What do you say, what plan do we have for <laughs> health sector? I mean, you're talking about building roads. No, what we have told you is yeah, how many hospitals we want to take up okay. in order to upgrade the hospitals. So when you say, what plan do we have? I've told you what we have put in the budget. Look at this hospital, see what we intend to do. Look at this hospital, what we intend to do. Look at this hospital, what we intend to do. All these are plans for the health uh, sector. My, my business is to provide. Do you understand me? Why you allow the professionals to run the uh, hospitals? Just like schools. Our business is to provide schools that have facilities. That means to be that students are having quality education. Our business, my business is not to run the, <laughs> the schools. So, so, but so. then we do try to supervise what is going uh, okay. on. Okay. So That's how the general hospitals that you mentioned that are slated for upgrading are uh, within the municipal area. It's not correct. Well, well, you, not, you, you well, well, okay, well, well, that's not okay, uh, I didn't get Guagola. Uh, I, so I, I got Utaku, I got Guariba. Mind you, Utaku has not been completed. Okay. What happened was that I didn't have this arrangement of a private person and the FCT, but somehow it broke down. In fact, uh, from what from the report I gathered, that part of the building collapsed. But it's a huge hospital, if completed, will go a long way in improving our health uh, sector. So we so look, we cannot allow it. People want this. So we're going to go back to take the responsibility of putting it back to what people uh, expect, you know. Then, like I talk about the, 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 the Guarapa. Guarapa, yes. The problem we have here is that we cannot carry everything at the same time. Let nobody deceive you as a government that you want to take every time. It's not possible. Take as much as you can to complete. Then you move to the next stage. But where you want to take everything, at the end of the day, you will not achieve wow. anything. The, 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 question, the, the point I'm leading to actually is whether the area councils uh, feel the same impact that people in Abuja feel and see every day that Oh yes, something is going on 
inside Abuja. Can the area council oh. say confidently that, oh, oh, we are feeling the impact oh, of look, the new man look, of look, 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 they, are, they, they are very happy. Why am I saying they are very happy? When we had this issue of security challenges then, and we tried to uh, sit down with stakeholders in the various area councils. And to them, it's, it's a shock to them. They've never had this kind of uh, relationship. A minister coming to sit down with them, talk with them, assess what needs do they require now. And then they tell the minister, okay, we want this. And the minister goes back to his boss, the president, and says, look, I went to Kujie today. See what Kujie people say they require now. I went to Kuali today, today, tomorrow. See what they said. I, I, I will go to uh, Abaji and I've gone and see what they say. And the president said, look, why not go and provide them this? They identified mostly routes that some of these bandits, mm. and which I can attest to, on Wednesday last week, I went to Buari, where they call uh, this road, uh, Tokula. Look, let me tell you the truth. Even if bandits go in there, it is easy for them to pack everybody. And that if you like, have the best equipment, there's no access for you to even say, let me chase these uh, bandits. I couldn't believe it. So I went there, we drove on the road. That contract is being handled by Esetraco, right? You can see the happiness in the people. And that project will be completed before the end of the day. In fact, all the six area councils where we are new roads now, all the projects will be completed before the end of the year. Then we have also made provision for them in the 2024 uh, uh, budget to also carry out six other important roads that they have identified. They've also told us, look, we don't have police stations here, we don't have police stations here. We require them. All those, all those areas who have police Not all, mm -hmm. but some council areas say, look, this is a major problem here. And we say, look, the president said, put it in the budget. I will include it in the 2024 uh, So the projects are project. based on needs assessment? Yes. So it's not a question of you sitting down here and saying, go and do so something for uh, what uh, the people request. Uh, what about the area council? People say, what are they doing here? What is our interest? We, didn't know, we never told you that this is our problem. So it is not need assessment. This is what we want. Like AMAC. When they choose this, I don't know what they call it, Zubairu or what's it, Zubairu or what road, you know? You cannot see the happiness of the people. What's going on? They said, this road has been a major headache. Go today, go and see what is going on there. Mm -hmm. well, I was there on Thursday, yes. I was there on Thursday. And the contractor is doing very well. Very, very well. I know that you've done very well in terms of security. Now, what are you doing to sustain the tempo? Uh, well, we just have to improve on what we have done before. Uh, like I said, uh, the, this time around, uh, by the grace of God, uh, now that the budget has accepted to require, um, uh, we are building a, a, a special, uh, you know what we call uh, a visual response uh, squad, you know. We are now, it's not about the normal uh, police headquarters, okay, the city police headquarters. But this will be a joint uh, team between the, both the army, the police, the navy, the civil defense, the SSS, and make sure that it is well equipped. The command and control yes, center? Yes, and then And then we're also having a, a getting a drone down uh, for the security, who will man the command and control uh, uh, center. Because having a drone is key, so that you'll be able to know when these bandits are moving in or when they're moving uh, uh, out. So you'll be able to take a proactive uh, 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 decision. Are you thinking of CCTV? Well, let me say, CCTV is not what only the FCT can consider. Mind you, the presidency is here. So it requires the national security advisor 
It requires the DGSSS. It requires the IG of police. You cannot, on your own, where the presidency uh, is, for you to put uh, cameras everywhere. No, you have to involve, it's a national uh, uh, issue. But, but is the plan ongoing? Well, I think the plan is ongoing. And you see again, the, the issue is not just putting the cameras. Just take for example, as you are putting the cameras and it's being vandalized, just like you are putting a, 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 a solar or street light, the next day you come, it has been uh, vandalized. So, 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 so you, you need to really sit down and say, look, how do we go about it? So it's not uh, an issue where somebody says, look, I can supply CCTV. That's not what you're talking about. It's not about supply. It's not about going to put the camera. It's about how do you protect them at the end of the day? So that if you say that you have achieved the whole essence of the CCTV. Talking about infrastructure a little bit and from the private sector's perspective, over the weekend we got a report that a private developer was accusing uh, the FCT administration and in fact yourself of ignoring uh, two existing uh, court orders and then went into his property and demolished. Mm. Oh. Well, you see, in the problem in this country, that is impunity. I've been doing it before. I'll continue to do it and nothing will uh, happen. Criminals are criminals. They may come in different ways. I've never seen like land grabbing in this FCT. I came in, so, much, so many petitions. So many petitions. One company called Praco offered 10 petitions. Different companies, different owners of properties. So, I summoned a meeting of all of them. They came with their lawyers, senior advocates. And I said, look, what is this? Company A presented their own. Company B presented their own view. Company C, Company D, Company E. I said, okay. I'm going to seek for advice from external solicitors. I'm not going to take from inside house because the legal secretariat and land department have been so compromised. So I saw the views of very senior lawyers. Two of them wrote to be different opinions. But arriving at the same thing, first of all, what happened? This land, this so-called ethnic Jugoist, talk about, was, was allocated when there was no minister. The minister left May 29th, 2023. Mm -hmm. By June, the land had allocated. By? By the lot of land. No, but he said he got well, approvals listen, from the former no, if I tell you, FCT minister. If I tell you so many things, if I tell you so many things, it is not as they, you see, these are the things they are clever by half. We all met, it's okay. Company B, this, this, don't do anything again. Until we're able to take a final uh, decision. decision. Do you know what happened? These guys, Thinking they are too smart, went on, started fencing, and then they allocated the land to people to buy. How did I know? A lady came and said, Look, Honorable Minister, I want you to advise me that the place I want to buy land. I said, Why are you buying land? Is it so so area? I said, Hey, no, we're having a problem with the. With the pursuit, don't, don't. Another time, the lady came back. It's a friend of mine, came back. So, look, you're telling me, but people are buying beauty. You say what? Now, I was going to commission the biggest water park at sunrise. If there were political appointees, I would have fired them immediately. But you have to follow the procedure. 
luckily now we have civil service uh, commission where they cannot discipline you as i speak to you now i'm to publish the transfer of directors today if i tell you the amount of lobbying moving one director from here to there is a problem why i don't understand how people think that we want to move forward in this country and we must continue to do things the same way just move this director here to this place now he goes that i moved him because he's an outside man of course he's a muslim or i moved this person to the place or i move him because he's an evil man i i, I can't believe this and meanwhile, the same man who is talking about so-called Ibu, ask him, who is the chairman of the Civil Service Commission? Uh, an Ibu man. Who nominated him to president of our recommended him to the president? The first chairman of the Civil Service Commission of, of FCT. Hmm. He's an Ibu man. For my number. And then you come and tell people, I want to fight the Ibus because you want to go and steal land. <laughs> because you, you think that you are the only one who can go to court. I'm not, we're not afraid of that. But things must be done right. I will not agree. If you like, go to all the national television. Carry a judgment where they are so-called judgment, wave it like this. Well, we will meet in court. So I'm not interested. But we are not PDP and Ambra. We are not, and we can't be. Uh, Your Excellency, just to bring you back a little, there, there was, uh, everybody came to the table. Yeah. You mentioned several companies that yes. you said they should stay at. Yes. Is that process over now? That's what I'm saying. Why, why we are trying to do that? Mm -hmm. He violated it. I'm thinking that it's too smart. By going to first, I'm beginning to sell the land. Now, if we allow you to finish selling the land, have you, what are we to do it? As it is now. The land has rattled back to the... As far as we are concerned, everybody who bought or who tries to buy is their own risk. No compensation? Compensation for what? Do you have anything there in the first place? Honorable Mr. To compensate you. Somebody is complaining about the activities of this um, vehicle inspection officers. Uh, he said it is being done in Lagos. Where does, how, when do you intend to automate you know, their operations that they just stand on the road and most of the accident we have right now and the uh, traffic snare that is caused by this VIOs. You know, <laughs> in Nigeria, there's everything you complain. Land you complain. VI we complain. We cannot do everything at the same uh, time. Take everything come process. One by one, one by one, one by one. You see, when you have so much problems, you have to take the one that is more important and resolve those uh, problems. Then you move to the next uh, stage. Now, if it's a transport system, do we really have a transport system in FCT before I came on board? We're trying to put those things in order. But our major headache in, in this FCT now is what? Land grabbing. Land grabbing. The moment you have been able to put this in order, you have achieved, because first of all, it is a major revenue and in terms of uh, 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 ground rent, ground rents, uh, CO4, uh, consent, you know, like you can see the file there, it's for me to sign consent for those approved for consent, try to go and pay, and then get the approvals and the rest of it. Right? Now, you know, before, so many people will come here, and the child and the minister give you all kinds of proposals. This is for you, this is for you, this is for that. And see, it's, it's not everybody. Like, and there's nothing I do. I have not briefed Mr. President. There's no decision. I go and brief Mr. President. See this, see this, see this. Some people are clever by half. Oh. Just like we are all seated here. Who all agreed? Hold on. Give us time. And then we're able to take a final decision. 
What disrespect is that? Then you turn around to blackmail us. Some was in seven day, that so called Linus was sending me text, go and ask Chris about who I am. If I show you, I'll, I'll show the tax for it. It does no insult. Oh, I, I want to take the land for myself. There's no kind of that. But he doesn't know that people are caught, it doesn't work. So they have asked the president to investigate you and possibly remove you, that you are creating problems. There's problem. no problem. Well, well, you are creating problems. For me. Yes, it is left for Mr. President. It is, me, me, why? it is left for Mr. President. You know why? They can't get it easy again the way they used to get it. I'm not available. I've told them that. Oh, no, in fact, the Nicolas Fukachuku was seated where you are now. Oh. This is where he, he sat. His lawyer sat there. I can just remember. And I told him, I said, listen, don't bring this civil style of uh, RNG, cut orders, and uh, judgment. You know me, it won't work. Those things you know, we do, we, we know. We know. You know, we know you people. Don't do this fast movement. It will not work. So, when I, when did I tell you that I'll be here forever as a minister of the FCT? Was I elected? I was appointed. So, any day, any time. Any day, any time. So, it's not him or them telling Mr. President to remove me to eh? the, the city that is alive now. You want to take President? Two, two to quick ones. Yes. First, you told us about the movement of directors. Yes. Vertically and horizontally yes. and all of that. Yes. The pressure. Has it, uh, have you buckled under the pressure? Have you look, to uh, down? The second one to yes. that is yes. the, this land department. Mm. In view of the constant headache that the administration is getting as a result of land allocation and all of that, are you giving special attention to the land department, maybe re like, massive like, reorganization? Like, the place? like the surgical operation we are carrying out is majorly in land and the development control in urban and regional uh, planning ages. That's where we are having a surgical uh, operation. You know, in any step you take to correct things, people will fight you back. They'll give you all sorts of uh, uh, names. I will not going to buckle. I'm not going to, you know, tell you that, okay, because of this, I'm related to this uh, high chief here. I'm related to this almighty person there. No. 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 I know this will come. I know it will come. Remember, when I came on board, I said, those of you who have not paid their grand rent, those of you who have not developed their land since it was given to you, which you have uh, you not complied, if from social time to social time you don't comply, I'm going to revoke. There are no all kinds of abuse that they don't give me. You think that is a uh, river state, you think that is a that's okay. When the time comes, you know, I would do it. Have you started revoking? I have done it. <laughs> but, I, have done, I have done it. But, you, see, you, see, you, see, you see, look, you know, uh, so many people think that uh, you are so hungry that uh, I will come and pretend so that I can retain my, my position as an FCT. What for? Hmm. But could there but be some, cases some, where some people could be perhaps giving, you know, uh, soft land, maybe they have genuine reasons why... No, some people have applied to me. And say, look, this was not the case. This mm. is the case. And I call for the records. And you guys, okay, reinstate. Reinstate. Some people have done that. Some have also called you we are guilty. Mm. There's no need. Can you allow us? We are going to okay. do this immediately. That's okay, sign. And they sign. That's okay, reinstate. To tell you, it's not in anything personal. Now, let me tell you. And this may consign you. Our AIT. Yes, let, let, let me tell you. There's a problem between AIT and the uh, FCT. Yes. You know that? Yes. It's happening in court. You know the, the, the founder of AIT, the late, uh, we say, you know we're not in good terms politically, you know that? Before you die, you, you know that? Are you asking me, sir? Yes, you know, very well. You are from there. I know that. Uh, you know that? There was nothing people didn't say. Two, three nights ago, his children came to me. He said, look, look. I said, listen. 
I'm not here. Even though your dad and I were not uh, uh, good politically, I cannot allow this to happen to you. Do you understand me? That's okay. I called the director land, called the director, called the ES FCDA, called the director of an original planning. I said, let me go and visit the place. That was on a Thursday, precisely. Around five, we went there. Ha! Ah, look at him. The house is on top. Yeah, and the eyes covered. Now there is a Linda Choker Street. Mm. So they are blasting the rock. Ah. I said, what is this? Dorado, you put it what? You allocated this rock to people. Mm. See, we have somebody living on top. Mm. I said, something must be wrong with you. Go and get me a memo. Bring it. I'm going to sign it now. I have to cancel that. This is wickedness. Thank you, sir. And I said, come on, bring your paper. I get them back the place. Thank you, sir. Because what is wrong is wrong. I'm just giving you as an example. The children were shocked. I mean, why do I have to? You have seen what is wrong. Simply because you didn't have a good relationship. Therefore, you visit the sin of the parents on the train. Why? I, I mean, everybody knows my position. That, look, politically, I was not in good relationship with their father. So, should that be why I must continue when the man is no longer uh, alive? I said, come on, take back. Yeah, properly. I cannot accept this. Now, if I have not done that, people would have said, oh, you know now, you know when the Dibos was alive, he has continued with that. Uh, <laughs> so people will build all kinds of, uh, 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 all, all kinds of things. So that's why I said, you must be aware. And I have told them, go and do the matter in court. Take back your property, I won't be here and see such a thing happen. I don't mind the criticisms of AIT against me, up to now as in government. Yes, if you watch AIT, there's nothing good about this government. Seriously? No, no, no. Just watch their political level. You will laugh. Yes, yes, yes. I could capitalize on that. Let's let's no, no, take no, a break. No, I won't take a break. I won't take a break. I will not take a break. So that people will know about you people. If 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 that does not good in this government, I think I just concerned. But I don't look, that's just not my business. But we have to go. We have to go. Nigel, I've tell you you're going on break. We have to go. We'll be back after two minutes. We're going on a short break. Two minutes. I know the last time you spoke about CNG buses. So could you give us an update? When are they going to be there? I know, I know some people are already asking. Is it also going to be, I think there is what all inclusive for those who are physically challenged? Well, I did say that by the grace of God, we are going to provide the CNG buses. Now that the bill, the appropriation law is in place, then the procurement process will start. Of course, um, in, in, in thinking of uh, a land, in line with that, it has to be all inclusive. Those people who are disabled will not have it difficult for them to uh, access. have access the, the the vehicles. I have not seen any CNG bus before or taxi before, so I won't claim that. I, but we have said that look, for the department as a concern. It must be one that is all uh, inclusive, so that nobody will be discriminated. Okay. Is there a timeline as to when these buses? Will First come of all, the procurement process takes a long time. By the time you apply to the Bureau of Public Procurement, it takes a long time. Sometimes the advertisement can take six weeks, and before the certificate of no obligation is issued, it can take another two months. 
And these are the encumbrances we have in our procurement uh, uh, law. So you cannot, uh, uh, you know, do anything other than to follow, except where you have an approval to do what we call emergency procurement. What should the people expect about low-cost mass housing scheme in FCC? When you mean that, what should they expect? Mm -hmm. Is it that what, what are you they doing? Spend, are we going to build yes. low-cost housing? Yeah. We intend to, but it's not in this year's budget. If, what, what about if it, tourism? You, you, you told us much earlier that you, at the weekend, went to commission. Oh, uh, it's, in, uh, uh, the, the, the uh, uh, What uh, incentives are you giving to the uh, to private investors this to is invest what, in this, tourism? This is, this is what we're saying. This, this is what we're saying. Like, these people applied for land before I came, and they were given that they want to build this. Every government will support that. I said I went there. It is like Disneyland. Yes, I know that. You cannot, in a day, say that you've gone around that it's not possible. In fact, the First Lady, Her Excellency, Senator Louis uh, Benton, called me and said, Look, I watched you commissioning this. I will go and send my people. They are the first ladies who are going to host, who want to be there. These are the kind of things you encourage them. Now, they want to build a five-star hotel, and they have a problem with this same people, Praco. I said, look, go ahead and build. This is what we are looking for. You want to talk about investment, not land selling. Land selling is not an investment. So, when you correct this, and they're also going to build a mall, it's something you should go and see whether any government will not give such investors support. Why would people want to retard development? Why do people want to sabotage things that will be useful to our people? First of all, they are creating a lot of jobs. First of all, revenue will come for us to have to embark upon infrastructure. So we are willing to give support to any investor who is seriously minded in putting their funds for the development of tourism in Abuja. I, like I said, do us a favor and go to that place. And then you go back home or to your offices and say, look, is it the kind of thing you will support or not? So, too many investors have come. Like I've said, you must show me the financial capacity. Not that I want to bring investors. They have over $20 million. I've agreed. I don't want to only hear that. I want to see it. Before you take the land for other purposes. Before, when we say, why are you doing this? You rush to court and get an, uh, an order. And then you go to public. They are doing it against me because I'm from so-so uh, place. No, no. Let's stay a little bit with the transportation. Um, there are other aspects of it. You mentioned it you know, in our last conversation, issues of grand stations so that we can track vehicles. Uh, are, these, are those in the, on, yes, in the pipeline? Yes, in fact, uh, and maybe we take this on board as well. Yes. Apart from you know, the purchase of the buses and the process at the zone, people and the use might be interested in other aspects. Maybe they want to drive them or maintenance and all. Are all those things also you know, being okay, advertised? Take, okay, I take for example, like the a metro line. We are not going to operate. The, the, uh, there are three companies that applied for the operation of the metro line. And I saw the recommendation being made to me of one of them. Because of the experience, both in e ticketing and the rest of it. So government is not going to run it. Do you understand? 
so that we may we have our sustainability and the rest of it. If I if I tell you this, you wonder what kind of country we are in. CCECC to train our people who will when I mean operating now, not operating as task of administration. Now operating like being in charge of the train, you know, uh, uh, to work in the inside there, all those kind of things. They had an agreement with FCD, uh, FCD approved by the Federal Security Council. They are going to train our people for the sum of 129 million US dollars for 29 months. So, <laughs> when they came, I just sat down. I said, 129 million US dollars for training of our people. So, I called the company. It's like there's a sabotage. You see that? You have made your money in terms of construction. And now you don't want us to listen to the function. How do I pay 128 US, 128 million US dollars for trading? What kind of trading is that? Even if I'm sending all of them to China, how much is one person who take in dollars? Approved by Federal Security Council of the previous administration. So I called them, I saw them down. I said, This is not possible. I can't. I better go and tell the president, it's unfortunate. It's unfortunate. I don't know what we can do, we better let's abandon this metro line. But you know what happened? We came down to $75 million. $128 million to $75 million. So, like you said now in this transport, by the time we finish building these terminals, we have written to the uh, Bureau of Port Procurement to give what we call, uh, uh, say, what do they call it? Uh, sing, uh, what do call it? Uh, well, a uh, single uh, source. A procurement that is, we saw somebody who built it in Ibadan mm -hmm. and uh, Lagos. So we we felt that with that we would like such person to to also build here. So the third terminal, by grace of God, uh, is in the budget, and um, I believe by the time the procurement process is over, we have to lay the foundation. And it's, for me, it should be a one-year project. It should oh. be a one-year project. All right, so no problem, sir. But, 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 but demand by not government. We are not going to run it. Because if you are running by government, you need to work. Yeah. So we'll give to operators to run it for us. I want to take you to River State now. We'll talk about politics where the assembly has accused Governor Fubara, yes. you know, of not sticking to, you know, the agreement they signed earlier. And a lot of people are saying mm -hmm. that you some wiki is at it again. That you have a kind of hold on the assembly member and this is Yusuf Wiki again complaining mm. against Governor Superbara threatening to resume impeachment proceedings. Okay. What is this perpetual problem between you and Governor Simulai Fubara? Just like uh, I know when your life fair is in, you know, I have decided not to bother myself in politics, rather concentrate and the assignment given to me by Mr. President. And that I've been doing. I didn't even go for Easter. I stayed back here because of the heavy workload I have in my hand. But now you have asked me, why do you people believe I have a hold on the assembly people? Because they were your boss. They are my boys. Who is not my boy that's elected? The governor to his own. My boy. Uh, so, but I don't have a hold on him. Yes. I have a hold on the, on the assembly people. <laughs> you know, the problem people don't understand is that 
I was in the other day. I saw a political conference made by transitional politicians, political vampires, political buccaneers. Not elder statesmen. Who what makes them elder statesmen? Do you know who's called an elder statesman? An elder statesman is a man who must have integrity. Who must not be here today, here tomorrow. But I thought that's politics. No, that's not politics. That's lack of integrity. Why am I not like that? If somebody does no, not agree with you. Not agreeing with me. Listen, listen, listen. Not agreeing with me. So what they call integrity. Let me tell you what's called integrity. Take for example, if you allow me to analyze one by one, let me just tell you. In 2007, when I came on board, after the Supreme Court judgment in October 25th or 26th, 2007, Uche Secundus, Abia Sekibo, Osun Dapura, Lee Meba, Salas Numea, we threw him out that 26th, that we threw out Salas Numea. And the Supreme Court, of course, said he was never a governor in the eyes of the law. After that judgment, in fact, that time, Secundus was the state chairman of PDP Rivers. After that judgment, he came to us, Hilton, and cried that he's the only son of the mother. That look, we should not allow him to go that way. When Celestine lost the Supreme Court, it's okay, but you are the chairman of PDP. We went. Selezin has sworn in council chairman. Now, we went to court. This was uh, Secundus, who was the state chairman when Omeha was made the candidate and temporary governor then. You know what he did? He came to court to testify that those council chairmen, he did not submit their name to research. This is a man who was with Omeha. Simply because the judgment is not against Omeha, that no longer governor, he ran down to us. They are majestic. And testified for us in court. And that was our court notified. All the council chairmen then notified their seats. Is that a matter of integrity? It's not whether you agree with me or not. I'm just telling you now. That is why. So you supported him to hire positions at the PDP. Who do I'm coming PDP now. Chairman. Look, you chairman. Look, you see, that is my problem. You ask question. I want to give you background when it says testament. What makes them uh, that statesman? Is it because you have faced 70 years? Is it because you have had a seat before, a position before? You can be a governor, but without integrity, I have no business with you. Yes, okay, take for example. If they are men of integrity, you say. You remember what happened in our last election? These are the people who called me killer because I was trying to force them to support a man who will not live long, who his life has been determined that look, there's no way of wasting their time to support him. I'm trying to force them. Now, you know that Omeha and Abechi are first cousins. You know that when Amechi came on board, he was the one who removed the mayor's picture that he was never governor. I don't know whether you understand that. Do you understand that? No. All of you? No. Do you understand that? No. It was Amechi who removed his picture. And when I became governor, politically, to give him a saving face. When he agreed with you. No, 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 what? listen now. 
You don't need to agree with me. I've defeated them all the time. I put his picture there. But do you know what happened in last election? They all of them to team up, to work for Tiku, and make them to reconcile with Omeya by attending Omeya's daughter's wedding at Corpus Christi. All of them teamed up to support Tiku. Of course, what happened? They couldn't give her to give him 10%. We we'll flogged them mercilessly. <laughs> now, the same people, this, you know, as told them, look, the, the, our elder, Chief Fede Alabama, our former chairman, Ambassador Dallas Murakawu, and the governor himself, they went to the opera's house. Please. The governor has emerged as a candidate. Support him. You know what he said? He cannot serve master and serve boy. He cannot do it. Today, you are not only serving boy, you are waiting for him on the road now. Is that integrity? I mean, I, 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 what is <laughs> people have, I, if you, you have children? They won't say, Daddy, what kind of life is this? You mean this can happen just now? And then that's what you call politics. The same people now who said this governor was a new fight, not just my boy, was a new fight. How can they bring themselves down to go and support him? They wrote a petition. When this government was to go and collect his certificate in PDP, so they carried the rumor to are you the then chairman that the chairman that the governor is being looked for by EFCC. And so they say he was not coming to PDP Secretariat National. But they were surprised the governor came and picked his. Uh, well, I know the, the antics. They wrote to the EFCC. And before they knew, that's a judgment against the FCC. Because I know how they behave. They did that to Amechi. When they gave Amechi ticket, Senator Lee Neiba came out and I owned up that yes, they were the ones who wrote petition to EFCC when uh, Nehru Badi was there. But do you know what happened? When Amechi became governor, the same Lee was the one who came to us and said, look, he was sorry for this and this and that, just to be relevant. Now, these same people now could come out on television telling Nigerians to support the Renewal Hope agenda. Is it not the Renewal Hope agenda that you are killing me? So, you know, you now know I saw early than you. It's of you to admit, you now say, oh, you are, you are, you are supporting uh, Fubara. For, you are supporting Fubara for what? Is there any election? Do you want him to appoint you into his cabinet? So that you will impeach mm -hmm. you. What is impeachment? I'm not a legislator. All these so-called leaders, if you are supporting Fubara, as you claim, What's the support? He's having a problem with the legislature. You, go and bring your assembly member. I'm a leader in my local government. You, go and bring your assembly. You, go and bring your assembly. You, go and bring the assembly. To show support, right? You're not the leader by mouth. You're not, you see? People look, I am here now. I can call my assembly member, my own assembly member. I said, look, this is not the way we should do things. This is the way. He or she will respect me. That shows leadership. Is that what people mm. wanted to show in mm. this case? Mm. That truly, if you want to save uh, Governor Fubara from mm. the constant hackings mm. yes. coming from the yeah. House of Assembly, yeah. that you are in a position to do it because yeah. you more or less single-handedly 
put those guys and put him there too. At him too. Uh, so what's the so if he has problem with them, okay. you are the door what linking the, the two what guys. What is the problem now? Has he come to tell me that there's a problem? He wants to be on his own with the the, the these uh, political uh, vampires who are always sucking. My pity for them. They just want to take over these small boys. You know that these young boys. Who thought that, oh, they have a space now to make sure to, they get something from uh, Fubara. Now, these people can't withstand hunger since I kicked them out. So they now want to take over those boys' uh, role to continue to suck Fubara. First of all, second dose is not a member of our party. Maybe he does not understand that. He's not he, a member of PDP. He's not a member. Now, people don't understand this. I am going to take it off very soon. How is he not a member? Ha, he was suspended from the party. The court validated it. He went to a uh, court of appeal. He lost. He appealed to the Supreme Court. March for Supreme Court dismissed his matter. What makes him a member of the party? Because he was dancing around with the articulate. Is that why? That, uh, that makes him. Anybody can go and support articulate or whatever. Mm. That does not make him a member of the party. Mm. You, you see, these people they don't understand. Mm. It's not just every time talking and talking and talking. I was happy that they did not support Tinibu. I was happy. He showed who on ground. Huh. If they had worked with me, nobody, none of you would have known that they are just empty. I thank God they didn't work. Now again, is they said that's what, did you see the press conference they had? Who's banned at the back? Atiku. <laughs> Look, you have Atiku's banner at their back. Are you saying we are former? You are calling Nigerians to support Tribu? Oh, who am I selling to? That me. I'm a selfish person. All of them. All. There was nobody that was not empowered. All of them. All. I said, oh, but what did they do when they were in power? Tell me what did they do to their people? Take, for example, I was already lame about saying that. There was no school in this community. You became a senator how many times? Two to three times? They gave you an oil block, which you saw at the cost of 15 million US dollars. And yet, you will open your mouth to say there are no school in your community. You worked on Dudley for eight years. You worked with Amity for eight years. What a shame. What a shame. These people who are now saying, all leaders are a revived leader. Mm -hmm. Ask them. When Odd Lee left office, he was living in Tama. How many of them went to see Odd Lee? In fact, what Secondus used to tell people, he named Odd Lee a name. He said, Mayor of Maitama. This Secondus. None of them. It was me. One day, as uh, saying Damian Dodo, as Bella Doge said, they were in my house. All these political vampires were all there. Chibudan Ucho was there. I put them in a box. I didn't tell Odele, Dr. Odele, that I was coming. I did not. And I also did not tell them where, you were, going. where we were going to. So Chibudan, after 1999, when he had a problem with the, uh, Dr. Odele, he didn't see Odele again. When Omeya lost Supreme Court, Omeya never went to Sodley one day. Sakura did never went to Sodley one day. Lee Meba never went to Sodley one day. I put them in a Mercedes bus. And we drove down to Sodley around 8 to 9 p.m. When the Sodley saw us, his face changed. Because he couldn't believe it. He has never seen these people since he left office in 2007. I said, sir, well, I want you to forgive everybody. God has kept you alive. You didn't die. By the grace of God, you are still relevant. So forgive everybody here. Ask. Damian Dodo, senior advocate, as former attorney general, 
Bella Ducky. She wouldn't watch that. Oh! Mm. You know, so, no, let me tell you. Mm. In fact, to tell you what, what do, to tell you, you know what happened that night? Me that was begging for me and them, for the to forgive them. Omi started equating his own papa night with all the, that they are the same. So, they may do this. Ah, this man is something wrong with him. Come, we came here to beg our leader. You are on top of it again, saying your, your own papa night and his own are ah, equal. What kind of? So, do, so do, do, the, the point I'm saying, yeah. people who said today that our revered leader, mm. when did he become their revered leader? I don't want to give you these instances mm. so you know whether they're really elder statesmen or not. But do, do you still have a good relationship with Dr. Odile? What do you mean by good because relationship? Because that statement suggests that there's a foster relationship between. No, 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 as it is today, politically, we don't have good uh, we, don't, we don't work together. You are uh, Dr. Odile? Yeah, no, no, we don't. I'm why? not saying that. There are statements why? credited to why? him supporting why? 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 the why? governor. No, why? Is that why? Why don't you? Why are you no longer working together? No, there could be some political uh, differences. It has nothing to do with the personal thing. No, I see the, the problem. People should know also that for some of us, we don't need to tell you lies. I don't do this way. I'm not like look, look. When in 2007, when we went to Supreme Court for making. I put my international passport in my passport, in my bag. And I told my wife, look, if we lose this today, you will talk about for I'm traveling out. So you take care of this, you take care of that. On that article, I know the whole plot against me. I knew all the plot against me. How they're going to come, a minute article wins. How they're going to come after me. This, of course, police will no longer take instruction. They know that the new president has uh, emerged. I also told my wife, if I took a wish, forget it, I'm off. My speedboat. When I did not support a Buhari, as a governor, I remember, let anybody challenge me. I never came to Buhari one day. I never, to beg for anything. Or to go and make a statement to say so that I want to come to but No. I stood firm. I never supported him. And I never believed in the government. I, I never attended meetings to the government. I never, in fact, even to go to neck meetings. That would call integrity. That would call statesmanship. Not you talk here now. In the evening, he said this again. He says a politician. What kind of politician that are? Yeah, but you are on record as in the past publicly saying yeah. that you will never have a kind of disagreement with Dr. Odile that will leave to that this kind of frosty relationship. No, 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 sir, that, that, I, I, that, no. That is saved no. your political career. No, no, don't make that, I never said so. I mean, I say, in politics, you see, for me, we are finished with this stage. It does not mean that the next stage, you've been the same uh, camp. No, no. You took a decision, I took a decision. That's okay. You just have one political decision, no problem. But do you still see him as your leader, somehow? Why not? So? But so does he mean I've been the same camp with him? Is, is, is this so, so, so big that for all Dr. Odile's sake, you can't, you can't bend? What you bending in what? I can't forgive Governor so Subara and what, 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 Excuse me, when he said forgive, what is the problem? Is he not running the state? Yeah, but he's been harassed by, 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 by who? The, by the lawmakers. lawmakers. Oh, am I a lawmaker? You hold the levers. I hold the what? You, you are controlling, you are virtually controlling the lawmakers. Uh, uh, but you are saying that, you, you are what even people say they are illegal. You are saying that the so-called uh, other suspects say that they are illegitimate. You know, people, I don't know the kind of school they went to. But, but what was the solution if, uh, just, just this reverse what the, From what I read, what the assembly were saying, yes. comply with the law. Comply with the agreement you had with them, with the president. 
if you comply with that, then you don't have any problem. So what is the problem? Okay. You don't have budget. Can you spend? Can you make an expenditure? And people are look. You see, and the court set aside the budget. Now, what people didn't know, and they claim, and that's why I laugh at them. Even that matter, Pesada by Justice Motosho, in the hearing of that matter, the counsel for the governor withdrew all the processes fired against him in that matter. Withdrew all processes, in, in which case he did not defend the matter. The so-called boy, then, that said he was speaker, was a party to the suit. He also, through his counsel, withdrew all processes. So, it then means... That was because the president had intervened as an actor. What are you talking about? Look, look, look. A that, part of the resolution that the, okay, was okay, withdraw all processes. Okay, okay. If that's so, why are you going to appeal now? What are you going to appeal to do? Okay, assuming do not concede. What are you going to appeal to do? What are you appealing on? You do not defend the matter. Who do you party to? You are so called speaker then. Who also withdraw processes? And judgment was passed. Like an undefended list. And you are not going to appeal. Huh. And and you don't tell. Lawyers don't tell you truth. Now you go around again, instigating so many people to file action against the speaker and members of the house. Who, the governor? Mm -hmm. Yes. But well, some say he is not even fighting back. Uh, excuse not, me, not excuse me please, anybody. please. Tell the tell your, 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 your three month old baby that one. <laughs> All kind of things. They, but they've forgotten that there's a court matter between the assembly members, PDP, and I neck, and which the court gave injunction. They forgot that Joseph Motosu recognized the speaker and this members of the assembly. Now you see how they collect money. You see, let me tell you how people who are not experienced, they can suck you. They have over 35 matters. Every day the same subject. They will go and tell him, yes, I want to find matter against these people. Then they collect money. Some say that stakeholders of River State, elders, they want to watch their locals. The only people who have locals, I find this matter is concerned, to challenge, if I thought there was a defection, is PDP. When you say stakeholder, how did you know you voted for him, for them? How did you know you voted for them? No all kinds of collecting money left, right, and the uh, center. So what the lawmakers are saying, look, you have no budget by law. Well, but what's the disagreement with you? The former Mr. President. And if you do not comply, then we have no presentation. Well, some say that to carry the process. The till date that the governor has released funds for the emoluments of the lawmakers and mm -hmm. that all their law is that, is, have been see, see, is that as the, part of the agreement. Okay, okay, let me tell you. Okay, is that all? Let me tell you. When you are not paying them, were they dead? So you are telling me the entitlement, the constitutional right that they beg you to release, yet they're illegal people. The same who are sent the illegal, he wrote a letter to them to confront commissioners. What is in this budget you don't want to? Appropriation law is key. What is the fear? Why do you think he mm -hmm. doesn't want to present the budget? That's why I should ask you. No, but some say that there's a court, that someone has gone to court to, to, what? to prevent him from representing the budget because what, it will be legal. What, what is the action? So what should he do? What is the action? That's why I'm telling you that you go out and tell me, okay, what's the action? Well, is there any judgment? No, it's, it's in court. If it's in court, why, are you not supposed to talking about? stay action? Why can you? Until they subsist? How? Is so, there, is, listen, let me tell you. Is there no court that set aside the budget? 
is there no court judgment has set aside the budget? So if he presents, if he represents the, the budget... The that he was a party to. Yeah, but if he represents the budget, yes. mm -hmm. and there's a court injunction saying... No, not injunction. There's a matter in court mm -hmm. trying to determine that matter. Would it not be violating the process? How can you say so? Process? If the court had determined the matter, saying the court, the, the judge, the, 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 there was no budget, and the budget said, like, how can somebody go to court again to say, no, don't present the... I mean, you know, some of us try to do it. We know the, we know the politics. We know the antics. We don't think at the end of the day is who suffers. Let's stay with the politics a little bit, Your Excellency. Who, who suffers? Yes. It's not this, see, like I've said, I will not. He who has the shoe no way knows where it pitches. It's not this political harbingers looking for where they will uh, survive. Oh, you send money to this person. Oh, send money to this person. They'll be sucking you. I know them. I know them. This is the time. The fruit is ripe. So what they do now is, yes, let's see. We'll teach Wiki a lesson. Tell, tell me any of them there that has the capacity to teach me a lesson. These people from 2007, we have never been in the same political class and political camp. 2007, I was with Amici. We defeated them. When I then went to ACN, in 2011 to run election, he ran away. He said the soldier didn't allow him to vote. He go back and he did Now, when I wanted to be governor, they were against me. And when they saw, they have no choice in the primaries. No, they have no choice. I normally beat them shakily. <laughs> I normally. And I won. Now, they thought I'm that kind of person they would continue to say. I played along with them. I tried to manage the political situation because I knew that the federal government was fighting me badly. So I had to manage them. Manage the situation. Locally. Uh, yes, until they showed their hand in 2023. Simply because they saw the governor as a new fight. I bought the phone for all of them. All of them. I just confirming what we were saying. I said I bought look, when the team, I bought the phone. I'm not hiding it. I gave them. And we all agreed. When we must choose one person, instead of dissipating our energy, mm -hmm. spending uh, money. Because it's just the governor, of course, is governor. Mm -hmm. For me, I wish him good luck, but I've done what I think I should uh, do. Your Excellency, everything. you are just going in the direction we wanted yes, to go yes. and talking politically. You take, took those decisions about two years ago, picked your, uh, you know. Two years uh, ago. Yeah, that's, uh, okay, anyway, when you picked. Not up to you. Okay, not up to you. So when this was done, you and all these assembly members, you won these elections and all. When you look back a little bit, mm. would you be thinking maybe there was a road you should have taken that uh, you did not take that now made this you made all of us arrive at this? First of all, these assembly members are not from my constituency. I couldn't have picked all of them. It's not possible. It's not possible. Thirty-two constituencies. No. Just that you have people who have principle. You have people who say, "Look, ah, I can't believe this." We were even here before you, the governor, before they gave you a ticket. We all work for you. You're not better than us. But our boss said, look, let's leave him. Let him be the one. Mm -hmm. They were all, they could also be have, as part to be uh, uh, a governor. Mm -hmm. If I said that any of them, we would have been uh, governor. I, I'm asking say, these I'll, questions, I'll, I'll, just a moment. I'm asking these questions, I'm remembering, mm. you know, those campaigns and how you were, uh, you know, seriously endorsing the current, uh, you know, mm. governor and all that. I'm saying that, uh, uh, did you think maybe perhaps, uh, uh, maybe there was a road you didn't, you, you, you took that you are not supposed to, uh, I mean, you, in, on hindsight, maybe you, you wouldn't have, uh, you know, taken it. Well, it's not everything I have to say. Look, let me tell you, in politics, it's not it's just like in business. Sometimes you may invest in business. Sometimes you result to loss. Will you kill yourself? If you kill yourself, will you go back to the business? It's not every investment you make that you will uh, reap. Sometimes consider that loss. And that's the only way you can move forward. I don't think about it. 
I'm focused in Abuja. Some people will say you've done your eight years as the governor, nobody controlled you all through your tenure and everything, that you are the FCT minister, concentrate on FCT, leave rivers alone. Leave rivers alone. I'm not from where? I'm not from Abuja. I shouldn't go home. Nobody's home. I should not uh, uh, in my political uh, machinery. I'm out of politics. They say you still want to com be controlling Control things. Control what? Micromanaging the governor. How? Is it true you submitted 18 names for him to appoint as commissioners out of 19? That how can that be possible? You see, you see, this is how you know men. Acquire from governor. Did you not take every member of Udom's cabinet? Did acquire from governor? Did you not take all members of uh, what's it called? Uh, uh, who don't say uh, cabinet? If, you know, people are terrible. If we say, look, yes, the whole cabinet supported you, but there are also those who are, who are not in cabinet that also supported you. So the best bet is look, take 50%, 50%, so that people won't say they, 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 they lost out. What is wrong in that? So that is control. Okay. First your government now. First it now, why are you bothering me? I'm here looking for money to do roads. And you're calling my name there. Who will Minister, pay for my transport to go and talk to the assembly people? We've heard you say several times that you have fulfilled your own part of the agreement that you reached with the president. It leaves people suggesting that maybe it's the governor who hasn't fulfilled it. So they wonder, what is the bone of contention in the first place? What is the bone of contention? I have never seen this in life. Look, let me tell you. You think it's everything the National Assembly does that the president is happy? Or you think that's everything that the president does that the National Assembly will be happy? There will be a relationship. Do you understand me? The president does not see us as my boys. The moment you begin to do that, you create a problem for yourself. I, as a minister, I have a good relationship with National Assembly. Why? Because I need them. There's no time I don't go to come. That's not president. Where are you? It's a country, yes, sir. Except your senators, mm -hmm. Carl Gallagher. Mr. Speaker, uh, where are you? The chairman of our city committee, both area councils, Sir Thomas Ah, Father Bidi, chairman of city committee on area council. Uh, where, where are you? The other senator from Taraba, where are you? I move. Uh, I arrived this evening. He says, yes, let's meet. Share a drink. You cook a cross of food. Though. It doesn't matter whatever that is happening. <laughs> what, what about? You, you, you understand me? You, you have relationship. Now, it's like people think having a relationship means money. No, no, no. Weekends, I'm not traveling. I call them. When I was governor, I could say I put all of them, right? In that case, I can say, speaker, come here. But even at that, I don't do that. I said, speaker, hey, where are you? He says, yes. can you come over this night? I said, what about the deputy speaker? He said, okay, two of you should come. How are things going? Fine. Not too fine. Why? Do you understand me? Why? We talk, we shut it. I will move on. You, you like him. Oh, after all, they were obeying the former governor. You see, that is the problem you have. You are seeing them as your boys because they are in the assembly. You can't do that. I'm telling you, I was the one. 2014, 2015, I sponsored the election of everybody. 2019, something happened. You saw the fight I had with the government. You don't have any fight with federal government. So what is the problem? Okay. They cannot have a good relationship with just assembly members. And you every time say wicked. 
Okay. What, what is that wiki that's making him to hold this assembly? What is that? Tell me. What, yes. is, what, what is that? Don't worry if we will normally say, if he didn't do, he didn't do. If you don't know what to do, you don't know what to do. Yes, and you begin to call week every day, call week every day. Yes, yes, yes. That, doesn't that then put the ball straight back in your court? Yes. Don't you think, in view of, first of all, the legacy you left behind in university mm. and the need mm. not just to sustain it, mm. but to also uh, be seen as, I mean, a, 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 a kind of continuum. Mm. Don't you think that's a responsibility on you? That you should be the one to, after all, you put it there no, no, to no. reach out to him. No, no, you just no, said no, now no, that no, it no, appears no, he doesn't no, know the way don't forward. Don't say that, don't say that. It has got to be, see, we're in different political camps now. Hmm. You are looking for peace. No, what has got to that? I mean, a different political camp doesn't, doesn't mean Which that political you camp are you in? Oh, no, 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 no. You know, I'm in PDP. You are in PDP? Yes. Well, is, the, is, the, is the governor in this? Yeah, he's different, he's a different political camp. He is has in his his own own camp. No, he's in his own camp. You have seen his people. Have you not seen his people? I mean, it's, it's clear. He has, he can't has, you win him away from no, the I wrong crowd? No, I can't spend that if energy. If you think he's in the wrong I, I crowd, can't you win I, him away from I that? I can't have that energy. If I have it, I would even go and spend it. Well, well, even, 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 even because you want to sustain your legacy? What is, what what is my legacy? Did he want to sustain the legacy? Because it's, there, it's an offshoot of your government. No, it is no longer. He has told you, look at it. Look, if it's an offshoot, you can't do what you are doing now. Look, I, you know, power. Yeah, some of you, you have not been in power, so you may not understand. Some of us are not interested. Yeah, yeah, I told you, but I'm not giving you. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> only when they, if they give me some information, I will just say, take it. <laughs> so, look, I thought, the way we planned the water, look, I, this project, when we went to campaign, I said, this community, what do you want? If you vote for us, we'll give it to you. When they voted, before I left, I awarded the contracts in fulfillment of those campaign promises. You now go and implement. Even the ones I finished, I said, take it for a hundred days. This is first of a first of convocation. Yeah, the, the convocation. Yes, of I paid for that eight percent. One of the political vampires did it. Do, do you understand me? I gave this, I gave this. I told you here, that ring road everyone is talking today. I approved it in my executive council. Before he was governor, I mean, when he was governor elect, I put him in the executive council. So we are telling the executive council. I went to Germany three times with him, to a uh, with Biden, with the commission of laws, we do process to discuss with Joe Vega on this ring road. And I said, look, this room road, we're going to project you. If you free this ring road, your second channel is. Now, I even, in negotiating, I said, look, what you will do, luckily, and I, tell, I challenge him to publish the debt in back, I left. You challenged the governor? I challenged him. Let him publish the debt. I left. When I see other states, I'm talking about debt. What if it publishes more than the debt? I said, publish the debt I left. I left yes. in the bank. That this was, I was, there were, there were two banks, Zanel Bank and Assas Bank. Yes. It's not hidden. Tell me how much as I left, what was, what was, uh, he was a counter general. Mm -hmm. Yes. How much was I owing? So, you know, it is not a question of people saying this okay. and saying, look, I, know we have to I was the one who negotiated. I said, look, take loan from the bank. Tell them monthly. The law allows you to pay your husband this amount of money. I came and flagged up the ring road. You see, what Don't people, you think all of that 
you are putting him no, 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 now. No, no, he has by not no, 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 helping he has him no out of a no, problem. No, no. Then, then the last have, question, because we are we almost about that. Last, last question. Last question. Last question. Last question. Yes. Do you think <laughs> the feud no. between you and Sefubara is enough for you to also jeopardize the relationship you have built over a long period of time? A kind of father-son relationship mm -hmm. with former governor, mm -hmm. Sir Peter. How are you talking about father-son? Don't you see where a father lies away? And who means the name of And who means the name of this person? Don't you see so? But the kind of son you are is, no, is, is one that can go to the father and say, you have to put my uh, name because uh, I deserve uh, to be uh, there. My, my brother, Benga, I'm not the one who does like this. Anybody who knows me knows me. When I say I'm enough, I've gone. No, no, when I say, if there's no preaching, anybody can preach to me now. It to be a sellout to my people, to my political team. Because what we saw was somebody who broke Guinea's book of uh, record. Because hmm. it's like, we can't believe this. There was nowhere suspicion came. Nowhere. You know when you, you when you break that Guinness Book of Record? Come. Do you know what's called betrayal? Do you know what it is? Have you been betrayed before? Is that what's just, going on? It just now? happened in Easter. Mm -hmm. It just happened this past Easter. Mm -hmm. Judas mm -hmm. and Jesus. <laughs> well, it was Christ happy. <laughs> Even that one was normal because because Christ had to die mm -hmm. for man to be safe. Mm -hmm. In terms of solution, mm -hmm. what if Governor Fubara joins APC? The lawmakers are in APC. What's my business? Would there be a solution? What, what, we know the whole thing going on. Was I in the APC if I supported the, I have to go. the, the president? Well, was I in APC? Mm -hmm. you, you see, you are going to APC or anywhere you are. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. What matters is at the appropriate time. What they are asking? We for. know. Mm -hmm. All these elder assessment mm -hmm. and all these, you see, it's not, you see, Today, it's possible you address the press, you pay the money, I don't have it. Then you know, you know you, we believe in when you have former senator, this, Lee Weber, who, Dr. Ben Sebro, former Minister of Transport, also no problem, former this, says to me, ah, <laughs> like that was looking for how they would recognize as governor. Your Excellency, we just. Yeah, yeah, he went to court the other time and laughed over that because said it was never. A, 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 I didn't. We didn't go to court. He went to court. Your Excellency, thank you so much. We really, thank you, we, really we really appreciate your time. <laughs> thank you. Thank and you. And unfortunately, we're out of time. Hope to see you one more time before the May 29 commission. Mm -hmm. of, I didn't say May 29 <laughs> is commissioning. <laughs> I cannot put date for <laughs> okay, Mr. before the commission. President. Now what I said that it should be part of the projects that Mr. Perim is one year in office. Right. So it could be before May 29. Okay. It could be from May 29. Okay, hopefully we'll see to you one more time before then. Thank you. Thank you so much for your time. We really Thank appreciate you. it. And of course, from my colleagues, uh, Sayo. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you too, sir, uh, Honorable Minister. Uh, of course, yeah, Sayo. Thank you very much, Your uh, Excellency. Thank All you. right, my name is Benga Haruleba. We'll see you around. You've been watching our live broadcast of a media party with the FCT Minister.